Hello, my name is Frank Anthony, and welcome back to Let Me Be Frank, episode 57. In this week's mindful moment, we are going to focus on feeling bored at work. You may have heard the following phrase from a coworker, or you've said this yourself at work I'm so bored. When we think we've outgrown our workplace, we have to ask ourselves if it's really because our skills and abilities have gone beyond what we can learn in this job. Being bored at work isn't necessarily a sign that we've progressed very far as a person and in our skills. It could mean that we don't know what makes us happy. When we're unhappy, the most immediate change we want to make instinctively is to change external factors, to change our environment. But the grass isn't always greener on the other side, because how green a pasture is entirely dependent on our maturity, our wisdom, and our state of mind. Even the most exciting jobs can become routine after a while. But people who have genuinely outgrown their workplace never actually have time to be bored because they're constantly looking for new things to learn, something extra to do, some new challenge to try their hand at. You're never bored when you're continually learning and growing. If we're not promoted, even though we think we should be, we can believe that the company is unfair. Let me be frank with you. Sometimes we're not as good as we think we are. Whether or not we have truly become the best at what we do will immediately become apparent in our next job. Sometimes we move on only to find that we're still bored and still unhappy that it's the same experience, or even worse. This is because we have to resolve our issues, and if we don't, there isn't a job where we can be happy for long. There can be jobs that aren't right for us because of the people, the culture, or the pay. But at the same time, we have to be aware of the role we play in our unhappiness. I hope you enjoyed this week's mindful moment. Make sure you subscribe to stay updated on new episodes, leave a review on Apple Podcasts, and if you'd like to become a producer or make a one-time donation to the show, click on the Buy Me a Coffee link. I want to give a special thanks to my executive producer, Monica Lee, and producers Jennifer Herrera, Alexa Hunt, Stephanie Lindsay, Cass Nolan, and Rebecca Russo. I also want to thank each and every one of you for listening and watching the show. Have a super special awesome day, and bye.